Well, today we're here in St. Martin. We're docked next to Wonder of the Seas. It's a beautiful ship. If you're looking into possibly booking a cruise on Wonder, there's the ship. It's so pretty. I was on it in, um, in March. Um, there are some blogs on my on my channel for the Wonder of the Seas. So if you're looking into it, check those out. If you have any questions, anything you need me to answer when I'm doing these vlogs for you guys, just comment down below and I'll be happy to um, get that information out for you guys. So that way you can see. Today we're in the Port of St. Martin. We're going to be getting off the ship in a little bit. And um, we're going to be doing a 4x4 Doom buggy um, to Maho Beach. So that's going to be fun. Um, that's something that you're going to see later today. In, in this vlog. I just wanted to show you how pretty the wonder of the sea is. It's a beautiful ship. Hey everybody, we're here in St. Martin in the 4x4 Doom Boogie. So we're going to um, start our excursion right now. And how cool is this? Check out this Doom Buggy. It is Tinkerbell color. Look at that. So we're in the green. So let's head out and have a great time. Okay, hey everybody, I'm here at Naho Beach. We're actually in the water, it feels really great. We're waiting on the Delta flight that comes in at 1.50 p.m. So it should be here shortly. And I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see. Everybody's waiting. Everybody's waiting for this, um, for this flight, the Delta flight that arrived in at 1.50 to come in. The water feels amazing. We are in the, today's the 1st of June and the water is not even cold. It's really nice. I did not bring my snorkel gear today because I'm traveling with two of my daughters. So we're just gonna enjoy um, here at the Maho Beach. We're gonna be here for one hour and then we're gonna do an island tour. Not sure exactly where the island tour is gonna be, but I'm gonna bring you guys along. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe notice. Um, button and also um, hit the like button too. And if you want to see any other kind of content information that you want to know, just um, put it down below. I'll be I'll be happy to read them and see what I can do to bring those type of excursions to you guys. Let me know if you guys need anything, any information about any sort of excursions. I've been in 42 cruises and I've been I've traveled to different types of cruise lines as well. The waves today are pretty cool. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see them coming, but the water here is so clear. It's so pretty to be here today at Maho Beach. It's my it's not my first time here in Maho, but it is my first time actually going in the water here in Maho Beach. And it's amazing. I, I am really having a great time. Uh, we did today a 4x4 doom buggy excursion um, on the Carnival Celebration. The excursion, I believe it was like $115. And if that's not the amount, I will actually put it on the comments down below. So it will show kind of like right now. Also, um, this excursion is kind of like you go on a doom buggy out of the, you take a bus from the port and then they take you where the doom buggies are. And um, and then you get to go on your doom buggy and all of that. 
and from there you leave out of that area you get on your dune buggy you drive about maybe like 30 minutes to Maho we're gonna be here for one hour and then afterwards uh, we're gonna do like an island tour here in Maho Beach um, in St. Martin so I it's really nice to see this area from a different perspective because I've been here before, like I said, oh. and I've never been here at the beach area. You know, we've been here to see the the airplanes um, take off and all of that. Right now, we're waiting for Delta flight. It's supposed to be here at 150, so I'm guessing it's delayed because it's past 150 and it's still not here. And right here in Maho Beach, on that area over there, you have restaurants. You have bars, music, there are deck chairs and launches. For those deck chairs and launches, you have to pay a fee. I believe it's like $20 um, for the chairs and the umbrellas here. On the excursion that we are having today, they gave us a free drink, so it came complimentary with a free one free drink. And on this other side, you have more restaurants and there are resorts and things like that. There's a lot of vendors here, a lot of souvenir shops that you can buy. If you want to buy something from here from Maho, you can purchase them there. So yeah, we're having a great time. And I'm going to bring you guys more content, more information as we go today along on this nice excursion. So come along with us. If you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and like our videos so we can bring you more content like this in, in the next one. The Maho experience right here. This is what we were always waiting for. Here we go. Check this out, guys. We are at the Tinker Mobile, like the Tinker Doom Buggy. The two, the Tinker Doom Buggy. Ah, this is so much fun. See, look at the color right there. Tinker color, that's right, here in St. Martin. You only do this once, so might as well just get your own personalized Tinker Doom Buggy. Where can you find a Tinker Doom Buggy? Here in St. Martin.
getting ready to get back on the ship right now. But we have some Calypso music playing. We are right next to the wonder of the seas. Oh, this is how Carnival celebrates your welcome back to the ship from St. Martin. Later on, we're going to talk about this excursion that we took today. I'm going to give you some information on it in just a little bit. But right now, I got to take you guys off camera because we're getting ready to go by security. Well, we just left St. Martin. Until next time, St. Martin, you did very good today. Um, I got to talk to you guys about this excursion that I have. The excursion was nice. I didn't have a problem with it. The only situation that I encountered when I just alert everybody out there. Um, for one reason or another, I'm not sure if they didn't get the information from Carnival or maybe the vendor that Carnival is using maybe didn't pay attention, I can say. Um, we had a 4x4 dune buggy excursion for three people. So when you're booking the excursion, it's either a four people or three or a two. So we did a three people because it's me and my daughters on this excursion. Um, when we got there, everybody had their dune buggy for the amount of people they were traveling with except for us. So they put me and my younger daughter in one dune buggy for two, and then they gave an ATV for my oldest daughter that was with me. I was not happy about it because we were supposed to do this as a family. That was the whole reason why we chose that specific excursion because um, they had an excursion with ATVs for Maho Beach as well, and we decided not to do that because we were traveling with a minor. So we decided to do the dune buggy instead. And um, now I have to talk to Carnival today to see what they can do about this situation because I don't want it to happen to another family out there. When you're traveling with your kids, they, you know, they, you're gonna put two people on one and then everybody else on an ATV, which is not, not what you pay for. So um, I'll keep you guys updated on that. I just wanted to bring it up to you guys to let you know. That way, if in the future you are booking this excursion, which is the 4x4 Doom Buggy and Beach excursion, um, keep an eye on that your family will be in the 4 or the 3 or the 2 Doom Buggy that you actually pay for. And um, that's what I wanted to bring you. Other than that, the excursion was very nice. It's everything that they said it would be. Um, we went to Maho Beach. We had a great time there at the beach and all of that. The only issue that I saw with the excursion was that we did run about 40 minutes late leaving the port here because they didn't have a bus to take us to the excursion. So that was another situation on its own. So getting back to the ship, we were about an hour late. So we had to hurry up and try to get on board. So it didn't give you any time whatsoever to go shopping if you wanted to um, because the excursion was ran late by about an hour. And we only had like about 15 minutes to get back on the ship when we got to the port today. So this is just a uh, cautionary for those of you that are traveling with kids or with family and you're purchasing something that, you know, you're thinking in your mind, my family is going to be together and we're going to have a great time. And that was not the case for us. I'm just thankful that it happened to us and it didn't happen to another family. I do travel a whole lot. Um, I was just, you know, a little bit upsetting on my area because I was traveling with my daughters and I was truly looking forward to doing this all together and we want not separate, so. But just wanted to let you guys know that. And I'll let you guys know once I talk to Carnival and let you know what they say about it. Keep you guys posted.